Happy Thursday. I'm Julia Espinosa at the First Alert Weather Center. And as we go towards your Thursday night into your Friday, winds are getting much stronger, especially across southern Santa Barbara County. We're talking gusts potentially up to 60 miles per hour. Now, although we're talking a lot of wind for the central coast, you are our one exception, as we could still be seeing the persistent marine layer from night into morning, tomorrow morning, waking up once again to those low-level clouds. And this time around, it could be quite stubborn out towards Santa Maria, Lompoc, likely to be seeing that cloud cover stick around for much of your morning before it clears away. Therefore, it does lead to some cooling. Now, down towards the south coast, we are dealing with those northerly winds, so even less of that morning cloud cover, plenty of sunshine, and temperatures running about 5 to 10 degrees for those areas far away from the coastline. Saturday, it repeats itself once again as we hold on to those breezy winds. But by your Sunday, winds are getting calmer. Uh, changes are also happening. So we have this trough that's been building over the Pacific Northwest. It's expected to sink further down south and it brings us with more mid to high level clouds. It's also allowing for our onshore flow to strengthen Monday all the way throughout your Wednesday. And this is going to allow for more of those low level clouds to become more widespread. Therefore, our temperatures cooling back down near normal. Coastal areas could be slightly below average for this time of year. Now, the biggest story at this very hour is the wind. So for southern Santa Barbara County, we are seeing a high wind warning go into effect at 6 p.m. today. It's going to continue into tomorrow where we could see those wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, really below the passes out towards our mountain areas. For Ventura County, winds are not as strong, but you are under a wind advisory where the mountain areas, interior valleys could be seeing those gusts up to 50 miles per hour. So very windy out there. As you can see the track of the wind, it is going to be very gusty right below the passes out towards the mountains. This type of wind does allow for the potential for power outages. We could also be seeing uh, down trees. So these are the kind of factors that we take into consideration when we're taking a look at these very strong winds. Friday afternoon, you can see it picks right back up over the central coast. So very breezy, very uncomfortable throughout your Friday afternoon. Heading towards late Friday, it does diminish for the central coast, but it sticks around down towards the south coast. In fact, it does get a little bit stronger out towards Gaviota, where we are going to be seeing the best potential for those very gusty northerly winds along with the mountains over Santa Barbara. So as we start to go towards your Friday, we're expecting even less of the morning clouds down south. Overall, you are looking at a perfect 10 in sense of visibility. The central coast, you're actually going to be seeing that cloud cover really stick around before it does burn off. So temperatures into tomorrow look like this. Out towards Santa Barbara, we'll be warming to 76 degrees. Carpinteria staying pleasant in the lower 70s. Heading inland, San Ynez, 74. While the coast does get impacted under that marine layer influence, Vandenberg now dropping down to 60 degrees. For Santa Maria, it's a mild afternoon, 65. San Luis Obispo, 68 degrees. And down towards Ventura, we are going to be warming upper 60s, lower 70s. That's a look at your forecast. Make sure to tune in tonight for the latest weather details.